YouTube, how's it going? Um, I'm back again. Yes, I have filmed most of these videos in the same day. I'm trying to get them done while I can, to be honest, because school is stressing me out to the max. Um, so bear with me. I'm not a person that wears the same shirt five days in a row. This just, I'm doing all these videos today. This is Friday the 16th. Um, so I'm trying to get all of them done. That way I don't miss the upload anymore. I feel really bad about going almost three weeks without upload. It was killing me. So now we're on to part three of our Tackle Arsenal series. Um, thank you for sticking with me. Um, so here is my jig box. This is part three. This is jigs and spinnerbaits. Um, so here's my jig box. As you know from the previous video, my spinnerbaits are my top water box because it fits better in that box. Um, this is just a more, this is the low profile plano and it works better for me. So starting off with my jigs, I have football, uh, sorry, I'll start off with the football jigs. I have four football jigs. I've got two custom made ones that I want to done. It's these two. I have two Strike Kings. Standard colors that anybody else would have. Um, black and blue, green pumpkin, crawfish variation. Um, as you can see, I have a net bait trailer on here. That's the one I use for this football jig because it's nice and bulky. I hope the audio is good. This windy is crap today. Um, and then next I have a few finesse jigs. Um, this one. Never thrown this one, but it looks pretty cool. So. And I have this spider jig. This one's really cool. I like how it's um, all poofed out everywhere. Sorry, I was making sure that with no hogs behind me. I got hogs at my house really bad right now. <laughs> I hope that's a squirrel. Yeah, I think it's a squirrel. Oh well. Um, but that's my football jigs, and then I have some just structure jigs and all-purpose jigs. Um, I have three six cents hybrid jigs. I got green pumpkin purple. Uh, I think this is green pumpkin blue, and I have an all black. Um, they're designed to be used for pretty much anything, really. Um, and they work really well. Then I have some just structure jigs. I have this Missouri crawl color. And then I think this is Falcon crawl. All striking. Most of my jigs are striking. Um, just because I like the quality. And they have to be... Um, I really enjoy the hack attack jigs. That's pretty much the only ones that I get aside from everything else. And then I have one finesse jig, peanut butter and jelly. It's a Strike King Bitsy Structure jig, I think. And then on to my swim jigs. I have a couple of them actually. So I got two in a shad pattern. Tennessee Shad, and then I think this is Clint's go-to, Nichols Lures, you know I like Nichols products. And then I have um, two kind of natural colors, this is a watermelon, this is 420 I think, and I have a bluegill, I have a six cents in black light, I love this one. The head on it leaves the head on it. They got they go into so much detail. Then I also have some more little finesse jigs in here. These are the finesse football jigs. Peanut butter jelly color, and then I don't know what color this is. Mm, little ball head jigs. And then I have these little spinner baits, little pond spinner baits. In these colors. I like these little spinner baits. They actually work. 
And I have a ton of chatterbaits. And I have custom ones that are really expensive. I'll tackle warehouse. That I don't ever throw because they're made of such high quality. I want to say they're TNT custom lures. Look at the quality on these chatterbaits, y'all. They look too good to throw, honestly, and I've never thrown them for that reason. They're not very expensive, but they are very high quality. I have a Picasso. It's in a bluegill pattern. Um, I have... I got this in South Carolina at one of the little tackle shops. It's a handmade one. Just like the off-the-wall color. Another Picasso white and chartreuse and then I have the standard um, so standard Z-Man chatterbaits in the standard typical colors as you will and I also have a June bug one then I have the chatter frog so those are my chatterbaits um, also in this box I have deep crank and a, um, I can't remember what this is. It's a Rage something. But it's like a chatterbait with a swimbait on it. I haven't thought of that either. Um, and then I have two punching skirts. June bug, open chubby crawl. I have some miscellaneous skirts. Black and white, just for extras. Then I have a ton of extra spinnerbait blades in here. This box is really, I don't really have enough jigs to constitute having just a jig box, so I just throw some other things in here. Um, just so I don't have to have a million boxes everywhere, honestly. Um, now, I got some other things to show y'all. I figured y'all would ask. Um, on my football jigs, I use the net bait, um, like a slims, crawls. Um, I use sugar crawls or rage tails or speed crawls or the z crawls um i i like the z crawls on a chatterbait too um for spinnerbaits i do not put trailers on my spinnerbaits i don't know why i guess i'm weird because everybody else does but i don't i don't do a lot of things most people do <laughs> um but I do not like throwing trailers on my spinnerbaits. I don't know why, but I've never. I tried it one time and I hated it. I just seem to catch fish without them, so I don't really need them. Um, so moving on to my spinnerbaits, I have a whole. Y'all can tell that I love spinnerbaits, right? So finesse. I love my War Eagle finesse spinnerbaits. So we're gonna start with those if I can get them untangled. I have a nice little arrangement of them. Chartreuse and white. This is um, a shad pattern. Okay, well the camera just had to cut off. So, I have a white with um, silver blades. I have a bluegill one. This is called mouse color. But it's bluegill. And I think that's it for the oh. oh, and then I got this weird exotic color. This one's got a big blade on it. It's not a finesse. Most of my spinnerbaits are War Eagle. Um, but, because I, I really like the War Eagles. I have a Nichols. War Eagle. Watermelon. Standard. This one is caught. Mmm, I'd say at least 50 fish on this one spinnerbait. This thing, you can tell it's held up. The little finesse spinnerbaits, they don't really hold up the big fish, but those big ones, they hold up. This is the big dude, or big guy from Lucky Tackle Box. Mm, old Terminator one. Booyah. Chartreuse and white or white. Um, that's pretty much what I have luck on. I got that one. That's the Strike King. 
just to try something different. Um, custom made for me. Um, I recently got this one if you saw my last unboxing. This is a uh, hog collar, three blade spinner bait. And I purchased the Yozuri knuckle bait. I haven't tried it yet, but I look forward to. Sorry, I have heartburn. Um, so those are my spinner baits. Like I said, I don't put trailers on them. Um, it works for some people. If it works for you, I'm happy for you. But I just don't like throwing trailers on my spinner baits. Um, so I really can't tell you if it works or not because I tried it one time and I didn't like it. So I haven't done it since. Um, and this squirrel is getting on my nerves. Um, so I'm not really one of the people who just put stuff on there just because everybody else does it. Like if it's not working for me, I'm not going to do it. So I don't use trailers. Um, so that is my jig and my spinnerbait box or spinnerbaits. Um, yeah, these are the trailers that I use. Um, I usually try to um, match up the colors to the jig. Um, if it's black and blue, I like using some kind of green pumpkin blue color for those. If it's green pumpkin, I'll throw a blue trailer or a black trailer. If it's red, I'll throw mostly either green pumpkin or black. Um, and if it's white, um, white jigs I normally don't have unless it's a swim jig and I throw a grub on those. Um, zoom grubs, that's pretty much all I use. Um, I don't have any with me. So that's why I didn't show you all those. But I like using Zoom Grams on mine. Um, like I said, if you have any questions that you'd like to know, um, if you would like to know where to get these products, most of them you can get on Tackle Warehouse. Um, if you cannot find a certain um, jig or item, please comment down below and I'll gladly tell you. Um, but I really hope y'all are enjoying this series so far. I got. I'm saving the best for last. Um, doing a whole new Rod and Real Arsenal video. So I'm really excited about that one. Um, really just excited to be back behind the camera. I know it's... I'm getting really comfortable around the camera now. Um, I just have a hard time thinking of things that I want to say. So I say um a lot. That's why I'm sorry about that. <clears throat> but... Um, see, I did it again. I'm just so thankful for all of the continued support. I'm thankful for the people that have never stopped um, commenting, liking, texting me, constantly showing me support and encouraging me to do more because without the support, which is when we quit, without the support, I would not be where I am today. So uh, thank you again. Thank you for watching this video. If you are enjoying this, please like. Um, and if you're not subscribed, I would love it if you would subscribe to me. Um, or, you know, follow me on Instagram. If you have any questions, contact me on Instagram. I'm always on there. Even if I'm at school. <laughs> but if I'm studying, I'm not on there, so. I don't answer, I'm usually studying. Um, or taking a test. But, remember, keep positive vibes. And I'll see you on the next one.